Candle Chats. This is Jasmine Clemente with Candle Chats, playing a little bit of Indie R&B. I am light, I am light. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? I am light, I am light. I am light, I am light. So this is candle chats. These are the candles that I have made. They're handmade candles. I have a whole line called Homes in My Soul. And this song, In the RV, by In the RV, called I Am Lights, I just feel that it is so fitting for this episode because we are the lights, you know? So yes, these are candles that I sell. And people love candles for the ambiance. You know, we love it as home decor. But it's more than that. It's also spiritual. You know, we are the lights. And it represents us, you know, that we are more than just people doing our, our daily tasks and, and daily obligations as far as going to work and paying the bills and um, going to school and having these careers and getting married and having families and pro-producing or procreating. We are people who are on a mission. We have a purpose. We all come from the light, you know, and when you strip away all the things that we've learned, such as, you know, what our race is and what our gender is and what our age is, how we're supposed to be acting by a certain age and how we should be acting for our gender or how we should be acting within our culture, you know, if we're Latino or African or Caucasian or Asian, um, you know, Indian and all, and all those different things. You know, we have all these pressures and stereotypes of, of what we are expected to, to talk like and dress like and, and be like and who to love and who to hang out with and, and what to do. And when we take all of that away and we strip that and we realize that we are the lights, that we come from a place far beyond this planet, far beyond politics, far beyond culture, you know, in, in a place where um, there's reincarnation, there's the alpha and the omega, there's things that just never end and it just transforms and changes and it's beautiful and expanding and, and huge and, and all-knowing. When we realize that we come from this light, we're like, wait a second. My purpose is way bigger than this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so yeah, we are the lights. And I just want to remind you that today, you know, that we are the light, um, that you are the lights, that I am the lights. I am a light, I am a light. I love to sing. So I wanted to just do that real quick. Um, so today's episode is about spiritual baths. Um, whenever you take a shower, the water is going to naturally clean your body whether or not you believe it's a spiritual bath or not, right? The water cleans dirt off of your body and you come out of the shower smelling better than you did before and feeling better than you did before. So water in itself is holy. It's from Mother Earth, Gaia. You know, it's from God. Water in itself is holy. Of course, there's some water that's more pure than other water that's been filtered through dirt and through dirty pipes, let's say. But water itself and its essence is clear and pure and it's holy um, and there are places around the world like if you go to Hawaii or a certain hot springs where it's been proven that if you go into their water that has not been filtered through pipes and through the cities and and all those um, 
mechanical filters, but you actually go into their natural hot springs that has been untouched, it will heal the body. It will heal you. Um, it can shrink tumors. It can um, heal you from being sick with a cold. I mean, you'll just you'll go into that hot water and mucus will come out of you, and you know you'll pers you'll perspire and dirt will come out of your pores. Your skin will feel cleaner. It will look cleaner. It, your skin will glow. Your hair will grow longer. You know because it gives you nutrients. The water and the minerals actually give nutrients to your your skull to your body, to your skin, to your bones. And it's been proven that there are certain hot springs that will naturally heal your body. Um, so water in itself, again, it is very spiritual, whether you believe it or not, water is holy in itself. Um, so, but if you are home, um, it's my cat. Come here, puppy. <laughs> if you are, you know, if you don't live in a tropical island and you happen to live in a place like New York City, for example, like myself, um, then you want to bring natural life to the to your back. You want to invite it in, such as using flowers. So I have roses today. I wanted to find lavender, but I couldn't because they're not growing yet in this season. So I, I bought the roses, which is still just as beautiful. Um, so yeah, so roses, they, they're symbolic for romance, right? And passion and true love. But it's also symbolic of loving yourself. If you don't love yourself first, how can you love others, right? So, um, so you don't have to put roses in your, your bath um, just for, like, let's say you want to do this for self-love. You know, it doesn't have to be romantic love. This doesn't have to be a love spell kind of a spiritual bath, you know, just because they're roses. This is just about love in general. The more you love others, the more you love yourself, the more, the more you glow and you radiate like the sun. You just love everything around you. And you're this big, vibrant, glowing energy that just loves everything around you. Everything that it touches, you know? So you can use the flowers of your choice. You can use jasmine. You can use lavender. You can use rose. You can use lilies. You can use orchids. You can use whatever flower of your choice and put flower petals inside your bath. So you can get the medicinal properties and benefits of that flower. We know that there are health benefits that come from the earth, from plants. There's rosemary, there's oregano, there's sage. There's all these different plants that actually heal the body. And we know this, right? You buy medicine in the store and it comes with these natural herbs. Um, for years and years and years, the ancients have been using natural herbs to heal themselves, you know? So you can take these flowers and herbs and put them in your bath and it will just make you feel so much better and it will actually heal you. So spiritual baths do, um, I don't want to say require, but I kind of do want to say require. Like they require natural remedies, natural remedies, you know. You can use things like this, for example. I have a, a scrub that I like to use, a body scrub for exfoliating your skin. Um, and this has Moroccan rose and Moroccan art argan oil and it smells so good it's literally amazing i know that I, you can't smell it through a camera oh my god it smells so good you know it's a body scrub you can use these things in essential oils but if you can actually put the real flower in your tub on top of using body scrubs and you know things like this um dead sea mineral salts you know if you can actually use real flower petals why not like use the real thing go to the source so you know gaia mother earth god has created or Allah, however you, um, you know, refer to our higher power, to our king, queen. You know, you could say Jesus, Jehovah, whatever it is. It, the name is irrelevant. You know, it's just the different languages. You know, it's like when you say I love you in English or you say te amo in Spanish, you know, or I don't know, anil chavit in Hebrew. You know, when, uh, when you say I love, you know, it doesn't matter what language you say in it as long as you understand the meaning of it, right? But they all mean the same thing, love. So when you're speaking about your higher power or our higher power, you can say God, Goddess, Allah, Jehovah. You know, there's different names that you can use. And as long as you're just tapping into that source that created us, that beautiful, beautiful light that we all come from, when you tap into that and you connect to that light, it's beautiful. It doesn't matter what name you use. So that's why I'm very... I love people from all walks of life. I don't care what religious background you are. To me, it's all one. 
you know, and it's very, very beautiful. So use flowers in your spiritual bath because these flowers grow everywhere. You know, you can get roses in any part of the world. You can get lavender, you can get jasmine. Flowers come from Mother Earth. It doesn't care what religion you are. It doesn't care what race you are. It doesn't care if you're a man or a woman. It doesn't care if you're a baby or if you're an old person, you know, or a senior citizen, however you want to say it. Um, this will heal bodies. So put flowers into your tub. Connect with Mother Nature. You also want to use, like I said, these dead sea salts. So these are organic. You know, they come from the earth. Again, I keep saying the earth. Um, you know, try not to get things that are um, that have parabens in it and stuff. Try to just get the natural. Um, more organic, the better. You know, so many people are getting cancer these days, and we know it's from things that are in our products and our foods. So you know, be be choosy and selective with yourself. White sage, always use sage or palo santo. I like to use white sage the most, but palo santo is just as good. Um, use white sage so when you are in your bathtub doing a ritual, praying, meditating, whatever it is that you're doing, you want to purify the air. You want to smell this. This will enhance your senses. It will relieve headaches and tensions. This is so good. Like you really want to have white sage when you're doing a spiritual bath. You want to do white sage for any type of ritual, any type of ritual. Um, so you have your white sage, you have your dead sea salts, you have flower petals, hot water to soothe your muscle aches. Not just warm, but hot. Also, you want to stay in the tub for as long as you can. Don't make this an in and out thing where it's 15 to 20 minutes and you know, you're waiting for the water to rise to the top. You know, it gets hot and then you're only in there for like 15 minutes, that's not enough time, you know, because then it's like you forget the whole tub the experience. It's just not enough time. You want to be in there where you can actually fall asleep in the tub, where you can just let go of the day's stress or the week's stress, you know, or the month, whatever you're going through. You want to just let go. You want to be in there and not rush to get out. You want to be undisturbed, and you don't want anyone to knock on that door and to drive you nuts. You know, um, make sure that you let people know if you live with them, I'm going to be taking a, a bath for one hour. Do not disturb. You know, because it's your peace time. It's like you're sleeping. You may not be physically sleeping with your eyes closed, but your body is definitely resting and you're awake in a beautiful, positive, spiritual state. You know, very, feeling very, very peaceful. So, yeah. So, I'm glad that you tuned in. Thank you. I hope that I gave enough information. Again, these are my candles, actually. These are some of them that I made. This is the purple lavender scented candle and then this one is the white scented jasmine candle but i also have rose petal candles it's a botanical scented candle line with the signature scent jasmine after my name and um yeah so it's called home to my soul please visit www.hometomysoul.com if you'd like to purchase a candle again they were all handmade by me with soy wax um 100 soy wax and floral scented organic essential oils so it's very healthy to breathe um, if you do decide to buy one of the mason jar candles, you can dip this into hot boiling water and then it will turn into, um, it, it'll, it'll just be clean where you can use it as a vase like this, for example. And you can um, so I put some roses inside like that and use it as a vase. It's very, very pretty. So, you know, after you use the jar, after it burns all the way down to the bottom, you can still save the jar and get use out of it. You don't have to throw the jar out. And these are beautiful jars because it's hard to find these colors like purple mason jars, you know, or green, you know, white, or clear is always easy to find, but not the colors. So you don't want to throw it out. You can actually save it. Again, thank you so much um, for watching. And I hope that you take the tips that I have shared and that they work for you. I know they will work for you, but I hope that you decide to do it sooner than later and do it as much as you want. There's no um, limit to how many spiritual baths you can take. You can do it once a week. It doesn't have to be, you know, once a year or once a month. So take care of yourself. I love you. We are the light. Namaste. One love.